YouTube. So this is another installment on the Porsche series. So I finally got the car back from the suspension shop. As you can see, um, I'm not sure you can tell. I can't really tell. It's finally dropped on um, the H&R Springs. Um, I'll try to see if I can show you guys the difference, but uh, there's about a half an inch drop. Um, you can't see the inside of the fender well that much anymore. So it's li literally better now, but it's just very subtle, which is what I like. So the problem now is I'm kind of scraping um, a little bit on certain situations um, down here on the edge here, but I have a full bumper um, bra, so it's only damaging that, thank God. So, um, see the wheels in the garage there. I'm gonna be installing that tonight because I can't wait anymore in the morning. Yeah, before we get into that, I'm gonna be um, just doing some prep work on the wheels before I install them. I'm just gonna be uh, cleaning it, waxing it, so when I install it, brake dust won't stick to it, you know, so for the future, cleaning would be easier. So I have my, um, this is an old kitchen mat, so it's like, um, it's a cushion, so I'm, right now it's a, I'm using it for uh, my wheels and kneeling on, it's actually very useful. Um, if you guys um, have one of these uh, laying around the house, might as well use it for um, other things, because we were going to throw this away, but I figured, oh, I can, it's just like a nice kneeling mat when you're laying on the ground or putting the wheels face first down here, it doesn't scratch it. So. Um, so the wheel is pretty clean, it's brand new. So there's not much cleaning going on here. So basically what I'm gonna do is remove the dust that's on here since it's been sitting in the garage and do a, a, light, a light spray wax and also do like a light carnauba wax, just a coat. So yeah, for protection for the future. So um, like I said, we're just gonna lay it down here. Hopefully it covers everything, all the spokes. There you go. Be careful with it. So just, just have a light, like a damp cloth. Put you guys in here. Just a damp cloth and then, you know, spray wax. Yeah, that's pretty so these wheels are, like I said before in the older video, that this is a custom built um, wheel. So um, it takes like about 10 weeks for me to get it. So I hope it's not a disappointing fit because I didn't choose the offset. I trusted the company to choose the offset for me. I told them what kind of car it is and what kind of stance I want to have. And so that's, uh, that's a lot of faith I have on them. I won't be showing you guys all four wheels. I'm just gonna do one wheel just to show you guys my process. And then we'll start mounting the wheels. I'm just gonna, there you go. Just a little bit. Spread it out and just kind of wipe it. Get like a, a regular old, like clean, it's just washed, it's just, and then just buff it out. So, just a little extra thing to keep your. Um, your wheel easier to clean for the future. Okay, see so yeah, see how the shine goes now. That's the, how the shiny it is now. There you go. So I'll put the tire dressing, of course, after I install it. I don't want it on my on my hands while I'm installing the wheel. So we're gonna start with the rear wheels. So I recently bought um, these Nomar. Um, I call this sockets for wheels because I had regular just uh, monkey wrenches and they scratch the wheels almost instantly so this are this is a must for somebody that's doing you know protect are kind of protective about their wheels they come in a set uh, 17 19 and 22 I believe this is the 19 for the OEM um, lug bolts yeah it looks really nice protects the wheels on any angle that you put it in and just use a regular whatever you have this is a small one but yeah so just a tip for you guys if you guys don't already know that uh, this is what I'm gonna be using and the tuner lugs that I have for the new wheels there are uh, 17 millimeter size so I actually have to get a slight extension because I don't want to hit the body of the car 
Um, it's good to have a wheel trucks in the front while you're working on the rear. I'm just breaking the bolts right now on the floor and then I'm gonna race the car up once they're loose. Okay, hope you guys saw that, but if you guys didn't, uh, I just broke all four, all five bolts and then I'll be racing the car now. So at this point, be sure to find the right uh, jacking point for your car and it's usually right around this area. I'm gonna have to double check before you jack up your car. You don't want to jack up your uh, side skirts and rip them off, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I forgot to mention that this car is all-wheel drive, so I, I, le I left it in gear, first gear, and I had the e-brake on, so, so the front wheel will not be spinning, for sure, and the rear wheel is also not spinning, for sure. So just the key, uh, just uh, bear, bear that in mind, if you're in a slope, like I'm kind of in a slope, so I don't want the car to just roll downhill, again. so <laughs> that will be bad. Okay, so we're going to take off the wheel now. Got all five bolts. There we go. Let's see how worn out my rear tire is, man. <laughs> uh, there, you guys see that? There's barely any threads left. It's like slicks. I'm about done. See, that's why I had to get new, uh, new tires and new wheels. I didn't have to get new wheels. I just wanted new wheels. Put that aside. All right. So here is the new H and R springs for the rear. Is still on the stock shocks. Um, I replaced the front because the front was blown apparently with uh, Bilstein B6s. They were B4s. The OEM is a B4 Bilstein. This one is still the OEM one. It's still good. So um, I guess I should replace that too. I should have replaced that too, but it was still good. The mechanic said it's still good. I trust him. So there we go. And other than that, I could clean in here, but I just don't feel like it right now. <laughs> um, yeah, it does. It is grimy right now, but this is the new exhaust. I'll be switching back to the OEM one. I can't wait to get it back. My caliper, I'm trying to find out ways to remove these black stain spots here. But overall, it's pretty good condition. Um, rotors, I think the rotors have some still a little bit of life I should replace that too someday I think okay we're gonna put the new wheel now see how it looks so I don't have to use the spacers anymore roll it over here let's back you guys up so you guys can see um, I don't have to use the spacers anymore so the, what they claim is this should be the right offset already okay moment of truth oh don't forget to rip off this plastic damn Back you guys up here, hopefully this is a good view. Check this. So the torque for these wheels is 96 foot pounds, we'll do that later. Um, so this is the center cap, Forge Stars. Uh, he has like a rubber grommet here. You kind of have to um, lubricate this somehow. So I'm going to use um, rubbing alcohol. So just kind of like, I don't know, make, to make, some, make, make it so that it will slide in there and it will evaporate after. See if I, if I can make this work. Which is a theory I have in my mind. I don't know if it's going to work. Because rubbing alcohol you know, shouldn't leave any risk. All right, let's try it again. There we go, it went in. So as soon as that alcohol evaporates, it will be stuck in there. There's still a plastic, um, cover on here like a film I'm not gonna remove it I'll just let it be 
you know, protects the center cap as long as a, for as long as as long as possible. Maybe when it heats up, it'll just fall off. I forgot to say that yeah, these wheels also have the TPMS sensor already, so it's gonna have to sync with the car when I have the car running and all that. So we're gonna lower the car, see how the fitment is between the fender. And the fender hopefully doesn't hit and yeah we'll just see overall one wheel for now and then we'll do the all four wheels and i'll show you guys the overall look okay. all right so before you pull it out make sure you hit it there it goes so it's sitting kind of flush wow i don't know if you guys can see that it's almost the same as my oem wheels with the spacers on and this doesn't have spacers, which is a good thing. Okay, so we're gonna tighten it up again. Actually, this is the time where you use the torque wrench. Okay, so based on the forearms that we use, uh, 96. So 90. I don't know, you guys. You guys can see this. 90 and six. I'll just. That's that's what I read anyway. So we're just gonna do it that way. Take a look. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'll have to go uh, to a place with more light to guys show to see show you guys what it really looks like. But let's catch. Uh, take a look at the front. So this is like what the car looks like from the front, and then the back. Yeah, it's way more aggressive. Way way more aggressive. OEM aftermarket <laughs> significant change just change of color same wheel um, dimensions size and everything is exactly the same just the style color changed the look significantly but I love these wheels so what I'm planning to do is restore these um, repaint them and just keep them like uh, these wheels are expensive OEM this is original and this is very expensive wheels so i'm gonna keep them do something with them maybe for track only and these are gonna be my daily uh, rock these daily so i'm gonna install the rest of the wheels and give you guys a whole walk around of what the car looks like with all the wheels yeah yeah just by just by looking at it from the back right now it looks so aggressive see that man all right enough of that let's get this done Hey YouTube, so we're working on the front right now. I just gotta show you guys this. So I'm taking off the spacers on the front now. I'm running spacers there too, but you see the B6 Bilstein, they're yellow, which is a really nice touch. Actually, if they were red, it would be nice. But like I said before, the original was B4. B6s are what I was told was more uh, tougher. So because the B4s are only used to long stroke springs so longer springs and if you put like a shorter stroke spring on it it's not working it's it's whole um, the travel so you're basically bottoming out the the shock and you're gonna basically end up ruining it um, it might not fail that quickly but it will it's set up to be to fail in something like that with the lowered spring so this one I was told by my mechanic is a better option to have a lowered spring on as you can see the H&R springs are here and yeah that's the setup right now so down the road I should have just gotten the the rears done as well but the the, the rears from what I was told uh, is tougher than <clears throat> the front uh, if that makes sense because it's carrying the engine it's made to be stronger than the front B4s so the B4 um, rears are stronger it's as strong as the b6s but the the front is not as strong so yeah so hopefully that's not confusing so there we go that's the that's the new setup now so it's kind of like a like McDonald's <laughs> yellow and red so there you go what's going on YouTube so the wheels are now installed as you can see the yeah it's looking really really nice Give you guys a walk around real quick. 
Yeah, it looks, it really makes the car, I think. Just the black and the, the contrast. I know it's, the gloss is better than being a matte colored wheel, but I think, yeah. I think it's setting it up really nicely. I think it goes well with the car. So yeah, I'll give you guys a quick walk around. There you go. Wheels, in there, wheels are installed, suspension's done. Uh, I don't know what's next. Maybe I have to repaint the, the bumpers because they're in kind of a bad shape, but that's for another video. There, there's a lot of chips and uh, rock chips and stuff like that. I might, I might have that done. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, bye-bye.